hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i have another product review but it's not from any big brand it's actually from someone from instagram she reached out to me and asked if i wanted to try some of her products and after looking over her instagram and her website i was actually very interested so i said yes she sent me over some poly gels and it's actually interesting because these aren't like the usual poly gel tubes these are actually in a little jar so yeah let's just get into the unboxing so after taking everything out of the package, the first thing I'm going to show you is this little black and gold envelope. I really love the black and gold. I feel like it's so elegant. Like it looks very pretty together. Inside the envelope, we get this thank you card. Basically, it just shows you how to store the poly gel, um, how to use it, saying that you can use 70% alcohol. 70% icy purple alcohol just basically tips and tricks feel free to go back and pause and read but yeah the next thing we get are two brushes and this was very very interesting to me the first brush we get is a pressed brush and it's so thick I really love that and um, if you've seen nails by Vic videos she used um, a thicker brush almost just like this so I was really excited to use it just because her application is like so perfect the second brush we get is a not pressed brush and this one was so pretty but it was so odd looking like it's like a cylinder and very round i'm not sure how this would perform when doing poly gel application but i know it would do some serious cleanup work to like a small line and then on the other side of both brushes we have like a pointier type of spatula which i felt like was very convenient for getting the poly gels but we'll get to that later but yeah here is just a side by side comparison of both of the brushes now getting into the poly gels okay so i didn't mention the name the name of this brand is called covet and envy i really do hope i'm saying that right if not girl i'm so sorry but yeah i will leave everything down in the description box if you want to check her out so here's what the poly gel jars look like um, very simple and clean. I do love the gold script around the top and when opening up the lid all of these did come vacuum sealed which was very nice to prevent poly gels from spilling before they got to me. So let's just go ahead and take this off really quick and after taking that off we do get like another spill proof cap like the cap that comes on acrylics. And when I tried to get this up, it was very, very thick, but here is the first color. And when I first seen this, like my first reaction was like, wow, this is so pretty. And this color is called Fairy. Like, do y'all see how gorgeous this color is? Like the reflectives, it's just so unreal. Um, one thing I did notice is that you get a lot of product in these jars. I'm not sure how much these jars are, but you do get a lot of product in my opinion the second color we got is a really soft white and opening up these little caps was so satisfying because they all came out like a cheese pool and like they are so thick which was so like it just amazed me so much but yeah the second color is a really pretty milky white then the third color is called luma which was a like a pretty pink almost like a really soft cover peachy color and it was so beautiful as well and after taking off this little cap i decided to like hold it there just to show you guys how thick this like how thick this poly gel is and if you can't tell by now i was like really amazed by it but yeah it's super thick and as you guys know i really love like thicker consistency so i was really excited to get into it but yeah these are the three colors that she sent over to me very pretty shades and she do have like more colors on her website which i will link down below and so when i was done with the unboxing i went to go show my sister and i don't know why but i was joking as if i was gonna pour these on her don't ask i don't know why but i realized that like even holding these upside down nothing moved and it was just so thick which amazed me even more so yeah that's just what i like found out about these um poly gels so yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the video so for the first nail i went ahead and did it off camera i was planning to do two marbles so either way i would have did one off camera so i just decided to just take my time and do my trial and error nail off camera so that i can really like get into what i was doing oh yeah and i also went ahead and put on my peel off base i did use the cuticle oil method for this um nail design and i'm using the 3xl non c curve cough and nail tips from aliexpress as always they are linked down below if you want to check them out i went ahead and applied that and i did a marble on my pinky nail and i decided to do it again on my index and i'm just going to show how i did it 
So since these aren't in like poly gel tubes, I do have to scoop them out. So I'm using the spatula side of the not press brush and I'm just putting the poly gel where I want it to be. And I do have to like wipe off the spatula after I'm done with each color so that I don't mix and contaminate all of the colors. Once I get the nail full of how I want the colors to be, I do take that spatula and also just swirl them around to create that marble effect. And once I get it to my liking, I just dip my brush in some 91% ice purple alcohol and just go in to pat this poly gel into place as if I would do any other poly gel brand. And from first impressions, I do like this poly gel. It's super thick, which is very much to my liking if you haven't noticed already. And it was so easy to pat this in place because everything stayed exactly where it needed to be. So as I'm patting this, I realized I didn't have enough of the white. So I just went back in and added some like at the tip of the nail. And I do make sure to keep my sides. So you kind of see me like continue wiping off the sides, keeping in the sides and keeping it straight. It really helps with the filing time and it just makes your shape come out so much more crisp. So yeah, that's how the nail turned out. And now that I'm done with my index, I did go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. And now I'm moving on to the next nail. So for my next nail, I'm going to be using Luma, which was that really pretty pink peachy color. And I don't know what was wrong with y'all. Look at this beehive I have on the spatula. I was like, that is entirely too much. So I went ahead and put some of that back into the jar. And I just placed it on the nail. I'm placing this on my ring finger. And I'm going to be using the two beat method. So I'm just um, putting that like on my nail. I do blend it up as far as it can go. And then I just smooth out the rest. I'm patting it into place. Um, if I'm honest, I don't feel like the jars were like very convenient. Because it does tend to get like super sticky. Because you have to dip it out. Put it on the nail. Instead of like squeezing it onto the nail and it's already there so you do have to keep wiping off the spatula and like the way i'm holding it like the crease in between my um thumb and my index finger it was getting like very sticky from the poly gel being on the spatula part so yeah that's just one thing i don't really like about it being in the jars but overall i did love the poly gel So as I'm finishing up the tip of this first bead, um, I do make sure to keep the free edge of the nail like very crisp. I take off any excess. Once I get that to my liking, I cure it for 30 seconds in my light and then I go back in with another bead this time more so closer towards the cuticle area and then I seal in that cuticle and blend the rest of that product down. Um, since this is a full color, I don't like to encapsulate when I'm doing full colors. I just build up the entire nail with that color and just go in and file because I feel like it's a waste of time to just do a thin layer and then have to go in and encapsulate. So I just build up um, solid colors with like that one color. I really like how I'm able to get this poly gel very smooth as you can see from the side view. It's looking pretty smooth but it's also looking very like thin towards the center and the tip of the nail. So I did mention I'm going to be using two beads but I actually went in with another one and this time when I put it on the nail, I just thought it was easier to just kind of smooth that out with the spatula. That way I'm doing less work with the actual brush. And I really like doing it this way instead. It was very easy. Once I get it smoothed out or placed everywhere I want it to be, I went ahead and wiped off my spatula. I dipped my brush back into the alcohol and just smoothed this out like a regular poly gel application. Here are today's featured comments. Thank you guys so much for leaving comments down below and supporting me. If you want to be featured in my next video, just leave a comment and I'll pick a few of you guys to be featured in my next video. So for my next nail, I'm going to be using the glitter, which is called Fairy. I think this is a really pretty name for it. This glitter actually reminded me of the glitter from the Long Hair Pretty Nails Patty Gel. Like, it was just such a pretty color. I did place a really big bead of this poly gel onto my middle finger. And just like the previous nail, the technique that I started doing, I'm just going to smooth it out with the spatula so that it's everywhere I need it to be. And then I'll take the brush and just smooth everything out and get it to my liking and perfect. 
and I will be keeping this layer very thin because of course since I do have some glitters in this I will have to encapsulate so once I finish doing this I will take off any excess that I don't need I will take off any excess because I don't want these nails to be super fat after I encapsulate so I'm just going to go ahead and continue patting this into the nail. If you are still watching, I do want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video and staying up to this part of the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a like. And if you're feeling generous, leave a comment. Um, it can be anything. Just comment some hearts just to let me know that you're enjoying the video. And just like that, we are done with the foundation of the nails. Um, I also went ahead and did my thumb, um, the pinky peachy color, which was called Luna. I went ahead and did that off camera just because it's super repetitive. Yeah, that's what my um, application is looking like. So before I encapsulate it, I did think like my marble nail, I felt like the pink wasn't showing enough. So I wanted to add some pink back to that nail. Um, I was looking through my nail art and I pulled out these little holographic um, sequin hearts and some flowers and I'm just going to be encapsulating that to my marble nails and I really loved how this turned out so I'm just going to be adding some base gel to the nails giving the nail art something to stick to and I'm just going to be placing some of the hearts down and also two of the flowers I kept it very simple just because I didn't want to overpower power the nail and cover up my marble Since the flowers are a little bit bigger, they were a little bit more frisky. So just to get them to lay a little bit flatter, I did take my base coat and just kind of like float over the nail and just kind of put it underneath the petals and just kind of get it sticking down. And even when I cured this in the light, um, I had to be really quick with it. I was just trying to like hold down the sides while it cured and it worked. So once I had that cured, I went ahead and repeated that same process onto my pinky. And while this part is playing out, I did want to go ahead and take the time to mention that I am doing a giveaway. If you haven't seen that video, it will be linked down below and in the cards. I felt like I was a bit unclear about the rules because I have a post on Instagram and one of the rules were to like go and tag a friend in that post and then come back to my YouTube. And like I have way more comments on that Instagram post than like my actual YouTube comments. So, so actually make sure that you are actually entering on my youtube channel and not my instagram sorry if the rules were unclear but if you want to check out that video and enter if you haven't seen it all of the rules will be in the pinned comment of this video y'all i'm so sorry so once i was done encapsulating those flowers i thought i hit record and I actually didn't so I didn't get any of my encapsulation and any of my filing on camera. I was going to show a little bit of each as always but here's what the nails look like once I have finished filing and shaping and can we just take a moment because it was so nice like it was so crisp and yeah I'll get more into my shaping. I am learning new techniques for shaping and I will get more into it in another video because I am going to be doing a review for a new um, Melanie Susie nail drill so yeah, stay tuned for that video if you want to know how I shape and file, like very much in detail, basically. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. And here I'm just doing the um, cuticle oil method for buffing. If you haven't tried this, I do recommend after you file, but before you buff, just apply some cuticle oils to the nails um, and just buff the nails. It makes it super soft and I like doing this. The first time I tried it, I said I would be applying this to all of my nail sets because that's how much I like it. Like the nails are so smooth and it really helps if you wanna go in with nail art instead of applying the top coat. Cause if you add a top coat, go in with like gel polish, you have to do another layer of top coat. So that just prevents the nail from being bulky and getting too thick with all of the layers and layers. So I do recommend trying this method if you haven't already. But once I finish filing up, we will get into the nail art part. So before I even started, I don't know why I showed my hands this many times. I think it was because like the shape and I really loved how it looked. 
but for the nail art i know i wanted to do like some hello kitty nails with these colors and this was actually like on um, plan the only thing wasn't planned about this set were the flowers and the hearts that i encapsulated into my marble nails but i'm really glad i did that um these hello kitty stickers are from secret nail affair i got these a long time ago and i actually have like so much stuff sitting in my closet like i have like three collections from um secret nail affair i have like three of the an acrylics collection like i always mention how i feel like i'm so far behind like i bought some of these kits like back during like black friday last year and like i just haven't even unboxed it i haven't even opened it i also have some acrylics from valentino um i also have a ultimate core kit from young nails i wanted to try that for beginners like i have so much stuff that's in my closet like i just haven't even got to so much stuff i can't wait let me know which one you would like me to do a video on first whether it's the valentino young nails and acrylics secret nail affair oh, and i also have the um valentine's day collection from secret nail affair like this previous this past valentine's and like i just haven't even had time to open it so i may do like some swatches on tiktok first and then i'll come back because it's not really a pr i bought it with my own money as well as everything else that i mentioned i did buy it with my own money but enough rambling i'm just placing some of these stickers onto my nail to my liking and these were so cute i will have these linked down below if you want to check them out if i can find them but i'm just randomly putting on some stickers onto my nails and i love these nails how they turned out um, after I did my thumb, it was kind of hard putting them on because like my nail was kind of dry and it's like it wasn't really sticking that good. But I did manage to get them on. I did add a little bit more off camera. And I did want to mention this because it's kind of annoying me while I'm doing this voiceover, but I don't know what's wrong. This is actually like a new mic and it's making like this weird like humming noise. If you can hear it, I do apologize. But like I mentioned, I did go off camera and add a few more stickers and this is what they look like. I was super obsessed with these nail stickers. Like it just screamed like kawaii. Like it was just so cute. And so next I'm going to be doing a little bit of nail art. I wanted to add like the little four pointed star twinkly things in the emptier spaces on my ring and thumb. So I start off by putting some dots with a dotting tool where I want my little four pointed stars to go. And then I just go in without curing these. It's easier to pull the gel polish like from the dots that I just placed. I remember when I first tried doing these four pointed stars like they would never come out right and the points would look a lot rounded which never really gave it that twinkle effect but when doing this you want to make sure that you have basically no gel polish on the brush and it's easier to just pull the existing polish gel from the dot that way once you like get to the point of the star it kind of fades out so it gets smaller i really hope that makes sense but i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy me putting on these four pointed stars and i know a lot of them aren't perfect but compared to when i first started they are a whole lot better but i'm just gonna go ahead and let this part play out and let you guys enjoy and i'll come back in a few seconds I don't know why but every time I do my four pointed stars I feel like I need to go in with smaller dots in the other areas so that's what I did and once I had them on I didn't add too many but once I had them on I did take my flashlight and just give them a flash cure so that they would stay in place until I place them into the bigger light and then I'm just going to be repeating that same process onto my thumbnail.
I'm gonna be adding some charms to my middle finger which was that all glitter so like always I go in with the top coat first before I apply the charms the top coat I'm using is the glossy from not polish I really love this top coat it's like super thick and very clear so I'm just gonna add a layer of this top coat go ahead and cure it and to apply my rhinestones I'm gonna be using my McCart rhinestone glue And here's the little charm I'm gonna be using. Like the way my stuff is set up, I have my charms like right beside me. I always eye these charms waiting for a chance to use them and I'm so glad I was finally able to use it. It's so cute. I don't know about y'all, but I love me some Hello Kitty nails. Like I just think the Hello Kitty charms are definitely my favorite. And so yeah, once I get it on, I'm just gonna give it a flash cure so that it stays in place. And after I flash cured it, I was like, what else can I add to this nail? So I was trying some of these little beaded hearts on there. And I really love how the really soft pink look with the colors. It added a really nice touch since it was pink and it just matched the overall set. So I applied some of my rhinestone glue to the back of it and placed it on the nail, gave it a flash cure. And I went in with some more top coat. So that's what I'm going to be doing after this. I'm going to be applying more top coat to all of the nails. Give it a cure. And I will be back to show you guys what the finished nails look like. So after I added my cuticle oil, this is what the nails look like. I can't tell you how much I'm obsessing over these nails. I think they came out so, so pretty. Um, my favorite part of these nails are definitely the Hello Kitty stickers. Like, I don't know for some reason, like that and the charms. It was just so pretty. And also, I really love how the flowers look. And actually, before I encapsulated the flowers, I knew I wanted to do Hello Kitty. But before I did the flowers, I was worried that it wouldn't really tie into the Hello Kitty theme but it looks super pretty and I love it so much. I really did enjoy using her poly gels in the jar. Um, make sure to check out her information. I will have her Instagram, her business account, website, basically everything you need to know down below if you wanna check her out. I really did love the consistency of these, the colors. She has so many more other colors on her website. If you wanna check them out, you get so much product in these little jars. Yeah, I just love everything about this set. So yeah, comment down below what you guys thought. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. It does end tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, I will be picking a winner maybe friday or the next day i may add it into my next video i'm really curious to know which one is your favorite nail so let me know down in the comment yeah that's it for today's video comment down below what you thought of this nail set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye